Okay, today we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines and how their slopes are related to each other. Um, so first of all, parallel lines have the same slope. And then perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal. I know, I misspell things all the time. And opposite just means different sign. And reciprocal just means to flip it. So you're going to change its sign and you're going to flip it. All right. So in order to do opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals, a positive three-fourths turns into a negative, And then you flip this thing upside down and it becomes four thirds. So negative four thirds is what that opposite reciprocal is. A two is always over one, and this is a positive, so we're gonna make it negative. And if two is over one, then it's negative one half when we flip it. This one's already negative, so we're gonna make the other one positive. And whenever you flip it, seven eighths becomes eight sevenths. So it's positive eight sevenths. A positive one becomes a negative one. And 1 over 1, whenever you flip it, is 1 over 1, which is still just 1. 0 has no sign, so it's just 0. But if you're talking about slopes, if you have a 0 slope, the negative reciprocal to that is undefined. And that's because if you remember, a 0 slope looks like this, which is a straight horizontal line. Its perpendicular slope would be straight up and down or undefined. Okay, use slopes to determine if A, B, and C, D are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's do the slope of A, B. We are subtracting our Y's on top, so 3 minus 6, those are our Y's, and our X's on bottom, negative 2 minus 2. 3 minus 6 is negative 3, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, which ends up giving me a positive 3 fourths. So slope of AB is 3 fourths. Then CD, subtract our y's on top, 0 minus 3. Subtract our x's on bottom, negative 1 minus 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, which negative and a negative make it a positive. 3 fourths. And these are the same slope, so they are parallel. A, B, let's subtract our X's, 2 minus 4. Subtract our Y's, 0 minus 5. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. A negative and a negative make a positive 2 fifths. Subtract our 8's, our Y's, 8 minus 3. Subtract our X's, 1 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, which gives me negative 2 fifths. 5 halves. Negative 5 halves. So the negative, the positive became a negative and it flipped. So these are perpendicular. A and B, subtract your Y's, negative 12 minus 2. Subtract your X's, negative 9 minus a negative 2. Negative 12 minus 2 is negative 14. This is the same thing as plus. Negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7, which gives me a positive 2. Subtract our, our Y's, 6 minus negative 2. Subtract our x's, negative 1 minus negative 5. This is a plus, 6 plus 2 is 8. This is a plus, negative 1 plus 5 is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And these have the same slope, so they are parallel. 
All right, A and B, subtract our Y's, eight minus six, subtract our X's, negative one minus two, eight minus six is two, negative one minus two is negative three, which gives us a slope of negative two thirds. And then these guys, subtract our y's, 2 minus 3. Subtract our x's, negative 1 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, which gives me 1 fourth. And these two numbers have nothing to do with each other, so they are neither. And now that we've done at least one of all of them, I'm done with your notes.